Say good morning. Say good morning, Chunky. That sounds like a poop. Yeah, say good morning. Say mommy's outside with our sister. Your sister, right? She's taking Philly outside. Yeah, I'm sorry. You weren't supposed to know that. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. She's coming right back, buddy. I promise. Okay? Good morning, guys. So, Naisha is outside right now with Philly taking her for her little morning um, outing, I guess. I'm over here editing the vlog that will have already been up and you guys will have already seen. This guy wants all my attention right now. Right? It's okay. Yeah, you're okay. Okay, my son wins. The vlog can wait for a second. Come here. Okay? That better? Dude, did you pee all the way up your back? What the heck? How was I feeling? I don't know. I thought you just felt wet, but I guess not. Maybe daddy's going crazy. No, you are wet. All the way up here. Did you go pee pee? Hmm? Where's that poop? I should be the one crying. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm sorry. Dude, yeah, you are like wet all the way up here. Okay. Let's go, let's go get you some new clothes. Let's go get you some new clothes, okay? Mind some new clothes? Alright, come on, let's go. Mommy, mommy being a weirdo. Yeah, you hear that? <laughs> yeah. You're okay, buddy. I hope that was just pee, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Mommy's so crazy. Your mama's so crazy. You're right, bud. Okay, we're all nice and clean now. <laughs> Luckily, it was just pee, right? Red like daddy. Red like daddy. Come on, let's go see mama. Let's go see Mama. Alright, I am here. Jax is here. Hitting me. He's been doing that lately since, like, when I feed him. He just smacks me <laughs> in the face. He just keeps moving his hand. Just like that. And I don't know why. But I just ate a little bit um, of breakfast. I'll probably eat a second breakfast in a little bit because I've just been starving. Um, Billy is sunbathing like always. She found her spot here to sunbathe. She'll either go in the back um, little patio or she'll sunbathe right over here. That's her spot. So, 
She enjoys that. But what are you gonna eat for breakfast? A pop tart. A pop tart. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, because you're lazy. You're right. Yeah. I was going to, but um... I cooked for you yesterday. You can't cook for me. You just ate cereal. I just said I'm still hungry. Oh, Ow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I guess I guess I have to make breakfast. I'm just kidding. I don't want a whole big breakfast, but um, I, I said I was probably going to eat something else. You want like potatoes and eggs? Oh, yeah. But can we make the potatoes in the oven? Because that pan you got is not... What's it called? I was a little cheap and I got a very cheap pan yeah, and everything sticks to stuff. it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we have pans, but it's in our storage back in Orlando. Ouch. So, okay, yes, I can make you some potatoes and eggs. That's true. Or drunk. we're just going to go back to Walmart and get a one that is non stick. Because I looked at the thing, it does not say non stick on there at all. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Come on, baby. <laughs> you gonna roll again? <laughs> Come on, my love. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, so. You gotta use your arms, sweetheart. There you go. Good job. You see? Use your feet. Where are you going? Where are you going? Mm. There you go. Use your arms. Use your arms. It's not in the night. It's not in the night. It's not in the night time. He said, I'm over this. Mm. I'm over this. Don't be defeated, my love. No. <laughs> he said, maybe if I just lay here, they'll turn me over. This is Jaden in his natural habitat. Always on your phone. But we're going to head to the post office and FedEx. And this little guy is sick of tummy time. And this one. Just sick of everything. Yes. <laughs> you a little tired, Lou? Hmm? You cuddling your toy? And you? What are you doing, my love? You ready for a nap? Again, natural habitat. Stop! It really sounds like a wild animal back there. Um, we are actually at the post office. <laughs> Because we have to get the keys to our mailbox. Philly, are you good? <laughs> um, so Jay's in there doing that. Little man's in here being a cutie little patootie. And then you just got Philly screeching. Are you good? You're fine. Relax. We're in the car. You like the car. <laughs> and then we're going to head over to, what's it called? FedEx. Because we still have the, um... AT&T uh, router so we have to return that um, we actually supposed to do that in Orlando but then the car broke down and all that so we're just doing it here it doesn't really matter where you do it you just have to do it at a FedEx so that's where we're going to be going next Home. We're getting ready to have some lunch and made a very successful transfer. This little guy was knocked out in his car seat and I was able to get him down, put his outlet on and his sleep sack and he stayed sleeping. This is a miracle. What, what was that? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. It, she was saying it was monumental because seriously since we've been here, I know we've only been here a few days but he just has not wanted to nap unless it was in our arms and at night. He's kind of doing the same thing. 
he'll fall, yeah, he'll fall asleep. I'll try to put him down and he just wakes back up. I think too, it's because it's really bright because there's like, one, we don't have blinds on the windows yet. Yes, but we, we get them tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. So once we get those, then we can go and buy curtains for the rooms and stuff. We don't have Blackout curtains. So, yes. Yeah, because there's like, um, in front of us there's like that giant field and like where we showed you yesterday they're doing construction which they're out there working right now out there doing their construction so they're out there doing their construction here i think this is more houses that's getting built here and then there's like farmland on the other side of that and then there's like a road but over here there's like some i don't even know what to call them like industrial like businesses and one of these businesses has like really bright fog lights not fog lights like just back lights on their building and those lights shine not directly into our bedroom, but we no, do. do get them on the back wall, which is right above where his pack and play is. That's directly in the bedroom, baby. Directly. What she, directly. Okay, what she said, directly into our bedroom. They go right into the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of annoying. But they only, they come in through, so we have these same windows. So they come in from this one and this one mainly. There's something else. All right, well, I am making some lunch. I have, I swear I heard something. I'm going to go upstairs and check on mine. Why? Quiet. Oh, but I'm making some french fries and these are actually really good. I had these ones when I was pregnant and I didn't really care for them, but now that I'm not pregnant, they taste a whole lot better. So, give those a try. He's checking on little man. Yeah, it's been really hard like getting him down at night and stuff. So, hopefully, um, which I don't blame him. I mean, it's a two hour time difference, so. Hopefully he's starting to get used to it. I've been trying to slowly, um, what's it called? Push back his bath time a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how he does. Yeah. How many do you want? Uh, how many do you think? I don't know, I've just been pulling them out of the bag. Oh my God. <laughs> they're going in the salad, remember? What the hell do you mean they're going in the salad? Mine's not going in the salad. I'm just eating my salad, and then that. Okay, well then that's good. I'll eat mine like that. <laughs> All right, so it's been some time. We are making dinner now. Philly is outside. Uh, I guess sunbathing. I don't know if the sun's actually out right there, but she's sunbathing. Jax woke up from his nap. He actually took another nap. <laughs> and um, now we're just hanging out. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Chunky. And Philly is just right there. I'm trying not to bother her because she's actually out there hanging out. Oh, you got to show them that giant as I grow. And then, look at this. No. I swear the bugs here are worse than in Florida. Like, what do you think? Like there's so many more grasshoppers, um, Cricket. crickets. Oh, yeah, there's, there's like these beetle things oh, and right moths. Here. I don't even know. They're just crazy. I, I'd rather have the big mosquitoes in um, Florida. Really? Okay, but is that biting you? So you telling me if that shit jumped on you like you wanna scream? Oh, I did. All right then. Like two days ago. I'd rather have a mosquito. Bite you and then leave you itchy as hell for days. If that shit touches my leg, I'm out. We moving back to Florida. You hear that, buddy? You want to go back to Florida? You want to go back to Florida? <laughs> well, Jax and I, we took a nice little bath together, right, buddy? <laughs> yeah, we took a bath and got a nice and clean. Except for you cried. Yeah, you cried and you went to mommy. So mommy had to come take you from me, right? Yeah, it's okay though. We, we got to bond a little bit because usually every night, uh, Naisha and Jax actually take a bath together. But tonight I wanted to take a bath, so we got to take a short little bath together. Naisha's actually in the shower right now. I'm taking a shower and then probably gonna make some more oatmeal cookies tonight because 
we destroy those cookies every single night and they last like a day and a half maybe and uh, they're helping her milk supply so anything for the milkies we do right anything for the milkies anything for the milkies because the milkies is all for you it's all for you yeah <laughs> yeah so Philly will go out for her last time a little later because it is only 6.47. So only 6.47 and usually, so back when we lived in Orlando, we would start to give him his bath around 8 and then like start to wind him down and try to put him down by like 8.45, 9 o'clock. Well, with the two hour time difference, now it's going on 7 o'clock but it's going on 9 o'clock over there. So he's slowly adjusting today was a much much better day he was really good all day we took a nap together earlier um he actually slept in the car when we went to uh fedex and to the post office earlier he slept in the car and he came back he actually slept in his pack and play for another like 20 minutes or so so he did really really good today um i think he napped again in naisha's arms for a little bit when she was on the phone with our friend from orlando um and then when we went downstairs to start making dinner uh that's when he woke up but uh, I kind of just sang to him and performed for him and he, he was fine. He started to fall asleep a little bit and then he woke back up because he was hungry. But he did an excellent job today, so super proud dad over here. Right, buddy? Daddy, super proud of you. And super, super proud of you. You're doing such a good job. A little chunky. Yeah, I'm a little chunky chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. <laughs> How couldn't you love that face, but... Oh man, I'm telling you guys, like, I'm I'm so excited for this adventure, and it's just like hard to think that we will be here for three years. Like, that part still hasn't sunk in. Like, the part that we moved from Orlando, the part that we moved and drove over 33 hours because with all of our stops and stuff, we were basically on the road for like three days. Um, like all that has sunk in the fact that we have this beautiful place to call home for the next three days has sunk in But the three years part has not sunk in yet. Um, I don't think it will really sink in until I start working and um, Even still then I don't think it will sink in for a little while like right now <laughs> Exactly, bud. right now it kind of feels more like a vacation kind of like I don't know like an extended stay vacation, like we're just gonna be here for like a few months, maybe like six months or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know, but it just doesn't feel real that we'll be away from everything that we've ever known. All our family, everything is on the East Coast. Well, I do have family on the West Coast, but I really don't know them that well. I've never either. I've never met them face to face, or uh, we just don't speak for whatever reason. But. Um, like all of my immediate family, all of Naisha's immediate family, they're all on the East Coast. So we're completely out here by ourselves. And I was a little nervous about that at first, but you know, when we moved from Connecticut to Massachusetts and the Massachusetts to Florida, um, that was the furthest I had ever been away from my family. And I think I did a lot of growing in that time um, and starting my business with real estate and stuff like that. Oh, if you guys are wondering about real estate, yes, I am still a real estate agent. I am still working in real estate. I actually have some deals going that will be closing later this year. So just because I'm here in Montana doesn't mean that I'm not working in Florida still. I am. I still have my license. Um, so I am still working over there. Obviously, I'm not out prospecting like I was when I was there because I'm not physically there. But I do have systems and plans set in place to help my clients so that way I'm still there every step of the way I'm just physically not there but we will FaceTime and Zoom and all that good stuff and then I have uh, a team of people that will actually be present to show them homes and open doors for them so oh you see I'm talking too much <laughs> I guess that's what that means I'm talking too much oh my god guys look at this it just started getting super windy over here. It's like blowing all of this dirt around. What the heck? Oh, did you see the lightning? We were literally just talking about back there. It was like super cloudy and Naisha had saw some lightning. And then two minutes later, all of that dust just got blown around. So hopefully it pours down raining over here and it'll be our first downpour. I know I sound crazy, but I absolutely love that kind of weather. That's why I loved Orlando so much.
I'm starting to wonder if this is normal here because literally the whole house is like shaking. Like look at this. Fell downstairs. No. Yeah. You didn't hear that? Even Philly lifted her head. She oh, more there. lightning over there. Okay, let's go downstairs and see what the hell's going on down there. Nothing fell. That's like really weird. Nothing like fell though. I literally think that's just like the vents coming in the house. But still, that's freaking weird. And all these damn grasshoppers, look at this. They're holding on for dear life. <laughs> They're holding on for dear life. This is crazy. Oh, I think here comes the rain now. Oh, please pour down. Please pour down raining. Please. Please, please, please. Like giant raindrops, but I want to see it pour. Come on, Montana. Show me what you got. So that's definitely not an Orlando rain. It was more windy than rainy. It's still like windy a little bit out there and a little rainy. There were just really big raindrops. That was about it. <laughs> Damn, very disappointing, Montana. I was hoping for a torrential downpour. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see a torrential downpour that puts me to sleep, puts my son to sleep, puts the whole house to sleep, and everybody just sleeps hours. Listen. That's the can, kind of rain that I want. You can do that without rain. Okay, that, that might be the case, <laughs> but I sleep very, very good when it rains, and I just love the smell of the rain and the look of the rain. Why I don't know, just, it's just. Just go outside and run butt naked in <laughs> I mean, I would, but, you know. We got neighbors. I don't want nobody's wives getting jealous of what you got over here, so I'm gonna just keep my clothes on. Oh my God. <laughs>